Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be exploring a Distro Hopper's Dream Tool that helps you create a bootable disk for multiple ISO files. This way you can host as many of those distro installations as well as ISOs that you want on only one USB disk. Alright, and I'm here on the Ventoy website, which is the program that we're going to be installing today and using. We'll go through the installation process using Linux today, and if you're new and stopping by to watch a video, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos on this Ventoy.net website. I'm going to go to the download section where we get to select which type of a download that we want. You can either get a compressed file for Windows or Linux. We of course want the Linux one today, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And it will actually take us to the GitHub page here where we can select what version of Ventoy we want to go ahead and download. And the latest release is fine, so I can just scroll on down. And then I'll see right here where we have Ventoy 1.0, at least right now, 0.19, the Linux version. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and select, this tar.gz file. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and save it onto my computer somewhere in the downloads folder and give it just a moment to go ahead and finish the download. All right, and back on the desktop, I'm just going to open up where I downloaded Ventoy 2, and I have it here, as you can see, Ventoy 1.019 in my downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up with the archive manager here in Ubuntu, and then open it up so I can go ahead and extract this file onto some place here on my computer. I'll go ahead and just throw it into the downloads folder. And now with it extracted here into the downloads folder, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. You can also use the terminal in order to extract this .tar.gz file as well. I'll let you go ahead and look up how to do that if you want to, but the graphical method is much easier here for me. All right, and then one thing we'll do is just open up the folder and we can check out the readme file just to kind of get a clue on what we need to do here and what options we have available for installation purposes. If we look at this readme file, it says that we have to run a script here with some arguments passed in and a device passed in. So we're gonna have to find out what our device name is here for our, the USB device that we're going to be using. So their example is uh, dev sdb. Ours probably isn't that, but we'll go ahead and take a look. Just make sure to use a USB device that has nothing on it and that you can go ahead and completely erase in order to go ahead and install Ventoy on. All right, for me to go ahead and check, I'm going to actually launch something called gparted. Since I have it installed on my computer, it's it makes it very easy to check out my partitions and various different devices that I have on my computer. So I'm launching that as an administrator. And then over here on the right hand side of gparted, I can go ahead and click and then I can see the various different devices that I have available. Well, the very first one is actually my storage disk with, with all my various different Linux distributions. And then I have this dev SDA here, which is a 30 gig USB that I have available. So now I know that my USB is currently located under forward slash dev forward slash SDA. I want to make sure and make note of this because we're going to have to use it in the install script. All right, and then another method if you want, you can use the terminal in order to go ahead and figure this information out as well. So if you launch a terminal, all right, and in terminal, we can use a command lsblk. This will list all of our block devices that are currently attached to the system. And we can look through here to figure out what our disk name is. So uh, looking through here, I'm searching for one, at least for me, that's 30 gigabytes. And I do see it here, so I can go ahead and see where it's mounted. Currently it's mounted on SDA. So this would mean in forward slash dev forward slash SDA. So now I know where it's currently mounted onto. And in order to go ahead and confirm that this is in fact the correct disk, what I can also do is remove the disk from the computer and see if it goes away. So with my USB disk removed, I'm gonna go ahead and run that command one more time. And I can see now it's disappeared from here. If I add it back in and run the command once more, then I can see it's right back. So SDA is what I'm interested in. And I know it's forward slash dev forward slash SDA. All right, so now that I know that information, let's go ahead and launch a clean terminal and navigate over to the directory where we extracted the Ventoy folder too. So mine was in the downloads folder and it was in Ventoy, whatever the default name of the folder was. 
So mine was Ventoy-1.0.19. I'm gonna list the contents here. So in here, we can see we have this script here, Ventoy2 disk. That's a script that we're interested in running. And I'll bring up the readme file once more so we can take a look. So it says, for an example, we could run sudo sh ventoy2disk.sh and then include some arguments here and then the device that we want to install ventoy onto. So let's go ahead and run this ourselves. So if we type in sudo sh ventoy2disk.sh, next we need to go ahead and put any flags that we want or arguments. So if we go back here, it says that if we do dash i, that will install Ventoy to the specific disk that we select. Dash capital I will force the installation no matter if it's already installed or not. Dash u will update Ventoy. And then other options here are to enable secure boot support or change up the partition style depending on if you're using UEFI based BIOS or MBR based BIOS. If we do have UEFI based BIOS, we'll use dash G. If not, we just keep it blank here. So back over here, I want to install Ventoy on my disk since I don't already have it. I'm gonna do dash I, and then following that, I'm going to do dash G. And the reason I'm doing dash G is because I do have a UEFI based BIOS that I'm running on this computer. So I want my BIOS to be able to recognize the disk. So I'll have to put the dash G. If you have MBR based BIOS, you won't have to put this argument in. Make sure to know which type of BIOS your motherboard supports before carrying on here. And if you made it this far, please smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. Finally, we're gonna type in that path that we recorded earlier for our USB device. And mine was forward slash dev forward slash SDA. Now, of course, yours can be different. So make sure you go ahead and check what it is before typing it in like we did earlier, and press enter. Next, you're asked for administrative privileges in order to go ahead and run this. So type in your password and then press enter. Now Ventoy gives us a little bit of a overview of what it's about to do. It says the current disk selected is dev SDA. The model, which is a very good place to make sure and check that it is the proper model of USB that you're trying to install Ventoy on. Now mine is a verbatim store and go, so I know I've selected the proper device. The size is 30 gigabytes and the style I want is the GPT style for my UEFI based BIOS. Yours may or may not have this. Finally, at the very bottom, it says attention, you will install Ventoy to this disk. All the data on the disk will be lost, so make sure you have nothing on it. If you're ready to continue, go ahead and press Y and then you can press enter. All right, we'll press enter. And it's just double checking one more time. I'm going to press Y and enter once more. And now it's begun installing. It won't take that long. All right. And if everything went successfully, it's going to tell you install Ventoy to your device successfully finished. All right. And once that installation is complete, you can go ahead and open up a file browser to check and see if your USB mounted itself back on. If it didn't, you might want to just remove the USB real quick and then put it back in to see if it mounts up again. Sometimes I have to do that here with Ventoy after it's finished installing. But as you can see here, I have two options here, Ventoy and then the VToy EFI. Now what I'm gonna check out is first the VToy EFI. This is where Ventoy resides and allows your USB to be bootable by the BIOS firmware. And then the more interesting part is this other location that was mounted, which is currently empty. And this is where we can drag and drop all of our ISOs that we want to be able to boot into. So you can pretty much put in as many as you want as long as it's less than the size of this disk partition. And mainly this is your entire USB. This VToy EFI doesn't really take up that much space. So if I'm in my downloads, I'm gonna go ahead and select a few here. I have Ubuntu 20.04, the live server. I have Pop OS 20.04 and I have Fedora. So I'm going to go ahead and select those three and I'm just going to drag and drop them into the Ventoy partition there. And then I'll open that up just to confirm everything's been copied over. I can see the three files in here. And now I'm ready to go ahead and take this over to a computer or server of my choice and bring up Ventoy so I can go ahead and install one of those Linux distributions that I've put on it. Of course, you can have 
a multitude of ISOs on there and this allows you to go ahead and multi-boot very easily and not have to completely reformat your USB every single time you want to go between a Linux distribution and or any other operating system. So at this point you can go ahead and unmount or eject the USB that you created with Ventoy and take it over to the computer of your choice. You'll have to restart the computer to make sure to get into your BIOS by probably spamming one of the F keys. I'll go ahead and show you that process on mine. All right, and once you have your Ventoy USB in the computer where you want to use it on, you'll go ahead and start it up and you'll probably have to spam one of the F keys in order to get into your BIOS. Here for me, I have to spam as it says F2 or delete, which I do, and then I'm welcomed to my BIOS. Now for my BIOS, it's kind of nice because I get to use a mouse if I want, or I can also use my keyboard to go ahead and select through things. Here on the right hand side, I do have the availability to go through various different bootable devices, but what I'm actually more interested in is at least on mine, is the boot menu. So it says here, if I wanna to get to the boot menu, I can select F8. Yours might be different, and or you might have to go into the advanced mode, but I'm going to just check out F8 real quick. And from here, I can go ahead and see that there is an available UEFI verbatim store and go. So that's the name of my USB that I plan on selecting. Uh, but I'm actually going to do it a different way just to kind of show you. Yours might actually look like this more. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. And then I'm going to actually hit the F7 mode. Now your BIOS might look a little more like this where you have these tabs at the top. I'm searching for one called boot or boot order. And I found it here. So now inside of the boot or boot order, I can go ahead and specify which boot option I want to come first. So I'm looking down to find that UEFI with the name of the USB where I installed Ventoy on. So I install it on this verbatim store and go. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to go ahead and save these settings. So in order for me to do this, I actually have to go over to the top and go to exit and select save changes and restart in my BIOS. Yours might be slightly different. Look around for these options, of course. And this will allow the USB to be the first booted device on the system and get you into a selection of multiple ISOs in Ventoy. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter to go ahead and save and exit and confirm. And just give it a few moments to reboot the computer once more and hopefully load our newly created bootable disk. All right, I'm going to let it go past BIOS this time. And look at that, now I see Ventoy. Well, congratulations if you made it this far. You've successfully installed and now are using Ventoy on your USB. You can see that I have the list of the ISOs that I actually put on the USB. And they're all available to me and I can just select whatever one I want to go ahead and run through by simply selecting it and pressing enter. So let's say I wanted to go ahead with the Pop! OS install, I'd select Pop! OS press enter, and then Pop! OS would start getting loaded. And after we made that selection, you can see how it booted into the install media for Pop! OS 20.04 here. I could have just as easily selected any of the others, but you can see how powerful of a tool Ventoy is, and it truly is a distro hopper's dream tool. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to go ahead and post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me and a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.